Welcome to SciWar. We are the official podcast of the Psychological Operations Regiment. All right, sir. So one thing that I do want to re-engage on, um, just for my own clarity, and perhaps people in the audience will also benefit from this. But so, how exactly, other than you know the, I guess the specific of the mission, but how exactly does a case mission differ from a regular SOP mission? So in regular SOP missions, for example, um, we're the ones that are generating our own messaging. Um, so we're figuring out exactly who we're trying to influence, why we're trying to influence them and what message or narrative or product we wanna craft to achieve that result with that person. I imagine in a case mission, things are significantly different because we're not influencing anybody, we're informing them. Ultimately, I guess, how are they different? And then who's coming up with the narrative or the messages that are being put out on our systems? And then how exactly does that whole thing work? Okay, yeah, so um, psychological operations performs three three main functions. Mm You've got MISO, Military Information Support Operations, MILDEC, Military Deception, mm-hmm. and CASE. CASE is the, the main one that, the, the main function that is inform only. Um, and f- for the purposes of, of uh, the, tar- the, the audience is, is U.S. population, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so oftentimes, in, in some cases, say a Navy um, or broadcast team, for example, or even a tactical team um, that will deploy, will receive tasks from the lead federal agency. They'll get a task, it'll, it'll uh, usually the, the case planner will, will coordinate it and send it down to, um, to those teams on the ground. They actually call them strike teams. That's like mm-hmm. their doctrine, not ours. So they'll, they'll get those assignments, those individualized assignments, usually one or two a day um, max, um, but the due out is for, for them to you know, capture, capture information or send it, send it back, create it, um, into into a graphic or into a, a modified product um, is usually a pretty quick turnaround. So like one a day in order to um, maintain reach and be able to reach the audiences that that FEMA or HHS or or other national organizations need to to reach those audiences in. Okay. Um, so with that, they'll um, they will those messages will um, be totally approved. Sometimes sometimes they'll have the the message. Um, given to you during during the mission assignment um, before you even go capture any kind of information or or yeah. footage um, and then you apply uh, using your graphic illustration techniques you'll be able to apply your um, those messages and and make them look appealing to the audience and okay. send them out on um, well they'll go back to the lead federal agency to be pushed out at a centralized location um, usually FEMA, FEMA national for example um, on their national websites or on a, on a regional level um, website, Facebook, YouTube, things like that, in order to reach their audiences. If the audience has that capability, exactly, if they can see yeah. it. Um, now, if it's something, if you're in more of a den- denied area, you could um, broadcast something more local, um, i.e. using the, the fabs or um, just loudspeakers through, through the tactical teams from 9th Battalion. Um, those messages will be approved at the lead federal agency's level as well before being d- disseminated to, to okay. the audiences. So I guess regardless of what method or what um, piece of equipment you're using, the message itself is crafted by the federal agency, not by us. Right. We can give them ideas okay. as far as like well, what what to include on a message mm-hmm. like, hey, this is this is what we're looking at. Um, and they'll either say yay, yay or nay, and and move on. Okay. Um, send back for um, for then, corrections to make sure it's an informational product rather than um, okay. any kind of influence. And then also, so let's say we want to change the dissemination platform because things in the environment have changed. Maybe we initially in like the beginning phases we we're using social media, and let's say now the power grid perhaps is out in certain areas that we want to reach. Um, so maybe now we need to use either like the fabs or like maybe even like a TAB to put out radio messages or something. Um, you said that one if we want to change the dissemination platform, that also needs to get approved. Or if the message is the same, we can kind of use whatever we want. Or how does that work? Um, it's probably just a simple question to the lead federal agency. If, you, if you've got the equipment on hand, um, you don't 
you should not have to get approval to change the yeah. dissemination platform. Usually that'll be specified in your in your mission assignment okay. or your, your daily assignment um, or, or task um, from the lead federal agency. If they want you to disseminate via radio, they'll let you know if, um, I mean, really all you need to do in, in a response um, kind of kind of scenario is just ask if, if they're good with it. If you enjoyed this clip, listen to the whole episode by using your favorite podcast streaming service.